Did you know you can use design thinking to make Michelin star dishes? What? Or use design thinking to make a million dollars. How? You can also use design thinking to throw a better party. What? Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. First, shout out to Ramon who commented and made the request which brings us today's topic. How can non-designers benefit from using design in their lives? Let's dive right in. I've made a video earlier that details what design was and how it was part of your everyday life. I know you're not going to watch that so here's a synopsis in 20 seconds. Design has two parts, the thinking and the craft. Designers use thinking to determine how you use or do something and use craft to decide how you feel about something. Thinking or design thinking is iterative and empathetic. Being iterative means you will try things many, many, many times. Being empathetic means you understand from other people's perspective. That's it, you're all caught up. If you already learned something new, why not give it a like to support this channel. Thanks in advance. Design is not exclusive to designers especially the design thinking part, which is about iterating and empathizing throughout the development process. Just look back in history. One of our greatest inventors, Thomas Edison, tried at least 6,000 materials, meaning 6,000 different versions for his light bulbs. And during the 6,000 versions, he made sure he kept the user's needs in mind. The light bulb needs to be bright enough and last long enough. Yes, it might sound a little bit common sense to think about the brightness and the rated light for a light bulb, but that is in fact design thinking. I'm sure he was using it without knowing about design thinking to get his patent for the incandescent electric lamp in 1880. Engineers use design thinking to optimize their machines, salespeople use it to improve their sales pitch, or baristas use it to make a better latte. You might be already using it. Design is not a mystery, not a black box, mostly just a methodology, a framework, or a way of thinking that can contribute a lot of value, not only to yourself, but to the entire world. So now let me just give you a very relevant example how can non-designers use design thinking in their day-to-day -day life. To cook a good ribeye steak. Remember, design thinking is about being empathetic and iterative. So let's be empathetic first. Understand the user, which will be the person eating the steak in this case. Recipes you can find online are highly generic. They might work for you or not. Too sweet, not salty enough, too hot, or not tender enough. So there are actually something incomplete and hidden about a recipe. Let's say the steak recipe, for example. The spelled out full version of it is a ribeye steak recipe for somebody. People have different taste profiles. One might have a higher tolerance of salt than another, for example. One might prefer less tender meat than another. If you are the person eating it, then you are the user. It will be a ribeye steak recipe for you, for your taste profile. At the end of the day, you do a lot of things for yourself. And certainly you can use design thinking to improve your own life. So why not let's just make this example, a ribeye steak recipe for you. Let's start from scratch, which is step one. Before you cook, to be empathetic, ask yourself, Hmm, how do I like my steak cooked? If the answer is, Hmm, I don't know. Which is totally a valid answer and we can go from there and find out more. Step two, go to our public utility, Google. Find a random but seemingly trustworthy recipe. This might work because the images look so good. This would be your starting point. Then you gather the ingredients and start cooking. Medium high heat, turn it every three minutes, done. Now you have your recipe V1. You taste it, which means you are testing your own product. And you are like, Oh, the meat is too firm, overcooked, whatever. This is where most people stop by saying, whatever. And they will end up having a mediocre ribeye steak recipe for the rest of their life. So forget about the whatever. Keep in mind what works and what doesn't, and look forward to your next version of your delicious ribeye steak. 
Then you continue to your step three. Be empathetic. You listen to your own feedback. Hmm. Turning it every three minutes might overcook it. Then step four. Be iterative. Next time when you cook another ribeye steak, remember the feedback you got from your own taste buds. Instead of following the original recipe to turn it every three minutes, this time you turn it every two minutes. Seems like two minutes work for you. The texture and the tenderness got magically better. So from now on, this will be your modified recipe. Call this recipe V2. Hmm. One pinch of salt doesn't taste like anything. So in recipe V3, you give it two pinches of salt. And two pinches of salt work great. Then there's another problem. If I let it rest for 15 minutes, then it starts to get a little too cold and it might start to turn medium. So in V4, you let it sit for only 10 minutes. And you are like, Hmm, this is nice. Warm and juicy. So over time, as you keep empathizing and keep iterating, you will start to find your own recipe and complete your own taste profile. Then from now on, you know what kind of steak you like and how to cook it for yourself. If you're cooking for someone else, you can first use your own recipe. If that doesn't work, you can start to go through that iterative and empathetic process to come up with a better recipe for that person. In general, there's no secret, no magic here in design, but the real magic is actually a very simple and practical way of thinking and acting to keep refining your process to ultimately reach a goal. Because it's so simple and powerful, you can literally use it for anything. Well, almost anything. Hmm, sounds like a Postmates ad. Get anything delivered. Well, almost anything. Use it to grow your investment account faster, to throw a better party that everyone wants to get invited to, or to drive down the cost of living, or even just get more A's in your classes. Alright guys, hope that ribeye recipe example give you a good sense of how non-designers can use design thinking in their everyday life and what great outcomes you might get by just applying this simple framework. Now you have the toolkit, let me know in the comment section down below what do you want to use design thinking to help you achieve in your everyday life. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you find some valuable and useful information in this video. If so, can send the like button for that awesome blue to show up. If you want to see more videos like this, also consider smash the subscribe button. That will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality than another role. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers!